Hey everybody, it's Robin. I'm out on the balcony, as you can see. And I'm going to make an announcement this time. Um, this is something I didn't think I would ever do, but I've decided this year I'm going to make an exception. And that is to mention that it is my birthday today. Now, usually I'm kind of embarrassed to even talk about this. I have never was big on birthdays and I don't know, it was just something I was never really, you know, like I always felt like I was bringing attention to myself. But this year I decided to make an exception and actually mention it to you because I figured a lot of you might actually want to know that. Since I do seem to have a few fans on YouTube and the other reason is that I actually feel fairly uh, privileged and lucky this year to have survived to make it to 59. So I um, had the aneurysm in April and you know that was could have gone either way very easily and I uh, like I say my doctor even said that he only knows of two people who survived this. So I figured it was, you know, I might as well mention it this year. I don't even mention this to anybody else. Um, you know, I don't, I'm not on Facebook anymore. And I know people always mention it on there. You know, it's like a cheap way to get likes and happy birthdays and all that. So I, I haven't been on Facebook now for a year and a half. So basically it's just my immediate family that really knows about it. And uh, so I figured I'd mention it. So I want to just say um, to everybody that's been supporting me, you know, how glad I am that you're along for the ride and enjoying the music that I'm doing. It's been a very rewarding year as far as how my channel has been going. Uh, as you know, I really didn't get anywhere on YouTube until the beginning of the year. I think I had 3,000 subscribers. In January and very few views and that was already 15 years practically of uh, being on YouTube and then I had some viral videos I think it was the first one was uh, Sultan's a Swing and then the girl dancing to ZZ Top and that started to push my views and subscribers and then it escalated uh, in January February so I started getting tips and Patreon support so now I've got about a hundred and 79 or 100 something like that on patreon so that's been really great so i always mention that um, you know that to everyone who's on the channel uh, if you're enjoying you know check out the the links for support because i don't actually make anything off youtube and all the support comes from you and people who are enjoying the music so uh all the links are in there. If you're really getting into it, check out my Bandcamp page. I've got, I think, about 1,500 instrumentals on there. And, uh, you know, two to three hours, that's my main thing, is to be jamming and playing really long pieces where I don't repeat myself. And that is sort of where I've arrived as a musician, uh, sort of you know, way beyond doing covers and things like that. So I'm doing song requests now for people. I think I've just done my 20th one, uh, where people are requesting a song, and I'm doing it for their birthday, and I get a full dedication, a full jam on there. I usually will take a, you know, maybe it's a popular song and do some variation of it. So I've still got that going, and Patreon, and tips, and uh, my t-shirts. Um, I'm wearing my Steve Austin shirt right now. If you recognize that scene, it was a Sasquatch episode. It's one of my favorite shows when I was a kid. I actually wrote to Lee Majors um, when we were driving down to Los Angeles in the summer of 76. I wrote a letter to him about this episode and uh, praising his acting. And what a great show it was. And I was, of course, really a, a huge fan of Six Million Dollar Man. This is about the only decent shirt I can get of the show. So I never sent him that letter. I think it just ended up not going anywhere. But anyway, um, for my birthday, my wife has given me the gift of uh, a happy birthday message from Lee Majors. So I'm quite excited and looking forward to that. Um, 
just put in that request about three days ago. Like it's part of this uh, channel where you can basically get a you know a hello or a greeting from almost any celebrity. So everybody's got something going in different places. But I thought that would be a cool one because he was always a hero of mine when I was growing up, and I. Uh, recorded the show religiously when I was 12 years old. So this was like 74, 75, 76, first three seasons of the show. And I watched it religiously and I recorded it on my Panasonic tape deck and then I listened to it after you know, we went to bed. It was kind of like having a VCR recording, but just audio. And that's where I really got into the music and the soundtrack of the show, which was composed by Oliver Nelson. So he was a big influence on me. I was starting out with guitar, lots of funky bass lines, really cool. I mean, the music was like half the show's coolness to me. So that really stuck in my brain and it's still stuck in my brain. It's kind of like the highlight of my, of my youth when I was 12. So I always look back fondly on the show and I still watch the show. I have it on DVD. So I'm going to hear from Lee Majors in a few days. Uh, so. Uh, I'm not sure how much time he needs to do this, but it's going to be cool to actually hear from him. So you get to say, you know, 200 characters worth. You can ask him a few questions, and mention a few things about yourself. So I think I mentioned, you know, that I thought he was like the, the best slow motion runner of all time. And, and everything was cool about him except the mustache he had in season four and his singing. So a couple little jabs in there. But uh, other than that, it's, it should be pretty cool. So anyway, um, I might post that later in a video once I get it. So anyway, I'm uh, planning not to do much on my birthday. We're just probably going to go out to the park and enjoy the weather. It's not too hot right now. Um, I am still jamming like crazy every day doing new recordings. I had mentioned in my last blog that I was going to cut back on putting up videos and go back to like three a week but I've been finding it difficult because I have so much material um, since I'm also mixing in busking videos from the street plus my home recordings which are now backlogged up to you know March of this year I'm still posting from early March or mid-March and you have to keep in mind I have been recording almost every one or two days since then and so I'm really far behind, so I have to keep up doing one a day until I actually catch up with all these recordings, which are going to be available on Bandcamp as well. So when I put up the home jam, it'll be a link to getting the song on Bandcamp. And also uh, keep in mind that Bandcamp Friday is coming up the first Friday in September, which I think is the third. Uh, they will have this again once a month till the end of the year, and that means I get 100% of the revenue from a sale. So if you buy something for eight bucks, I'll get almost eight bucks less the PayPal conversion fee. So I might lose, you know, 50, 60 cents on that. But uh, usually uh, Bandcamp is taking 10% plus PayPal conversion fees. So uh, they had skipped it for a couple of months, but it's back in September. So uh, any of you that are wanting to support, that is a great day to support because I just get a little bit more out of it. But I'll appreciate it on any day. And yeah, so that's coming up. And other than that, I'm just going to keep on jamming. Um, I'm feeling pretty good. I uh, am feeling like, um, you know, that I'm still improving. I'm, you know, playing every day. I'm constantly uh, jamming and, you know, doing new songs. So my fingers are in shape. And I just finished a really great uh, tribute to Gary Moore, which I'll try to put up in the next week or so. This. still got the blues style jam so anyway I just wanted to mention that and uh, know that it was my birthday um, it's kind of a little embarrassing for me to mention it but uh, you know, some of you would probably want to know about it and like I say I feel really glad to still be around to actually <coughs> celebrate a birthday this year the way things were going hey everybody bonus surprise to this video I have uh, uh, a nice piece of cake here <laughs> that I'm eating <laughs> for breakfast. And uh, yeah, it's my birthday cake. So I just wanted to say that um, I just got a, a fantastic gift from my wife. It was a um, cameo birthday wish 
from my childhood hero, Lee Majors. And uh, it was ordered a couple of days ago and it actually, uh, he actually got it done in time. So it is August 30th, it's my 59th birthday. And uh, like I mentioned before, I don't usually like to even mention this, but I figured this was a special year. So uh, since I survived to make it to 59, and uh, yeah, so I watched the video and it was great, uh, really enjoyable. He, um, he talked for at least a minute, but uh, I'm gonna include that here in this video so you can see this uh, direct uh, uh, birthday greetings from my hero, Lee Majors. As you see, I'm also wearing my uh, Lee Majors Sasquatch shirt, Six Million Dollar Man. I guess you'd have to be at least over 40 to remember that show. Um, as it came out in like 73, when it lasts about so 78. So anyway, I was really happy. Now my life is complete. Um, I mean, I have named my, um, uh, my, I think my Bandcamp channel is called The Six Million Dollar Guitar. And it has that image of Steve Austin running and I superimposed my guitar on him. So it looks like he's actually wearing it. So uh, that was the name for that channel. And as I mentioned before, it was a sort of really a highlight of my youth, uh, that show, everything I've sort of associated with that time, um, school and, and my best friend, Jim, and uh, just enjoying the show and just getting into guitar and being influenced by that music and listening to the shows every night on my recorder, uh, playing them back and where that, you know, that soundtrack really stuck. So I still watch the shows now. I mean, it's just like, it's comfort food go back and uh, check out the uh, uh, the first three seasons and they were my favorites so yeah that was uh, that was nice to be able to get that um, it would have been nicer to have like a lunch or a long chat but uh, I guess you probably can't really get that I mean certain people do make that available but yeah I can't believe the guy's 82 years old it's like where's the time gone you know it's uh, incredible so uh, yeah I was really happy to get that and like I Again, I want to thank everybody for supporting me on the channel. Um, like I say, I always respond to your comments, and I really appreciate all the appreciation uh, you've given me uh, over the last seven months since the channel uh, went viral. And I'm really happy that my music is making a connection with a lot of you. And that is really, you know, the main um, thing that uh, is so important for me. I mean, obviously, to express yourself musically is important and all that. But the fact that I'm hearing from so many people that are, you know, using my music for therapy, for self-therapy, has really been incredible. Um, I've heard from people using it for cancer recovery and depression and sleeplessness. Nurses have written to me who are using it for their dementia patients. And I've even heard some some people who were debating suicide who changed their mind after listening to one of my songs. I mean, that is just uh, simply incredible, uh, very rewarding. So um, never underestimate the power of music to heal. And I just had a uh, interview with CBC. So my second radio interview and the guy talked to me for 20 minutes and I talked all about this, you know, music therapy thing and what I'm, the feedback I'm getting through my channel and uh, he ended up not using it. He was uh, focusing on alternate payment methods for buskers when they're on the street. Like, you know, do you use a QR code or credit cards and things like that? And I, since I don't even do that anymore, I didn't have any of this. So he ended up not using any of this nice 20 minute interview, which I may end up posting anyway on my, um, my blog update. So you can hear the interview. But he asked me if he could pass this interview on to somebody else at CBC and maybe they would do a piece on it. And I said, yeah, that'd be great because I think it'd be very important to uh, talk about music therapy. I mean, it is a big deal and a lot of people don't really um, realize the power of it. Um, it's just something I was going to study in school. I had actually studied, uh, started that in college, but I never followed through with it. But now I'm actually doing it. You know, just by being on YouTube and people are hearing my band camp music as well. So, you know, it's uh, can be very helpful in uh, dealing with everyday stress and healing. 
And uh, since I'm doing such long extended pieces, they uh, really help for you to get into the zone and into the mood and relax. I mean, I use it myself. I'm falling asleep to it myself when I preview tracks. Anyway, so that uh, hopefully will be something that'll be coming out later. Um, uh, you know, a feature on that. So yeah, it's cool. I've had a couple interviews now. I've had some radio play in Italy uh, where they played like my hour and a half track every night for two weeks. So yeah, but uh, I just want to thank everybody for the support and uh, like I say, the um, channel continues to grow and uh, I'm going to continue to post the busking videos as well as my home videos which I have to catch up on. So just keep leaving your comments and I'll keep responding and uh, I want to say thanks and also to the people who have tipped me on PayPal, if you haven't heard from me, it's because I can't reach you because there's no email address uh, in your tip. Sometimes it's in there, sometimes it's not. There's a glitch at PayPal. So it's really frustrating for me that I cannot say a personal thank you, which I do to everybody. So uh, rest assured that if you did tip me, I have been trying to contact you and I would send you an email. So some of you will get one because your email is in there, but not everyone. So please be aware of that. I am not ignoring you. Okay, so that's it. I'm going to enjoy my birthday now. And uh, I'll get out for a little bit later, maybe do a short bike ride or something. And uh, so enjoy this little uh, Lee Majors uh, birthday wish that's coming up next. Hey, Robin, Colonel Steve Austin here. Well, okay, Lee Majors. <laughs> you know, I want to thank you for following my career and being such a loyal fan over the years. It's, it's always nice to know that all my hard work was appreciated. <laughs> well, except for some singing and, and that mustache in season four. Yeah, I understand about that. But I was a pretty good runner. And I also know that you had a leisure suit and you used to pretend to run in slow motion like Steve Austin. Yeah, but did you ever try running in the woods and having those bell bottoms flapping and catching on some branch then knock you on your behind? Well, I did many times during that show. <laughs> You know, I know you love music and you're a pretty good guitar player, but hey, check out the Fall Guy theme song. I think I did a little better job singing that. Check that out. I think you'll like it. You know, um, if you wonder why I'm here, well, uh, I'm on a mission. Actually, Steve Austin is on a mission for the OSI today, and that mission is, along with Suzanne, to wish you, Robin, a happy 59th birthday, my friend. So, gosh, doggy, have fun, enjoy the day. Wish I was there to share some cake with you. But just, uh, you know, and a big thank you to your lovely wife, Suzanne, for reaching out to me and letting me be a part of your special day. That's pretty nice of her. You got a great lady there. So, uh, you guys stay safe, stay healthy, and may God bless you both. Thank you so much.